to High Function Gaming, continuing on with Pokemon Legends Ocarina of Time. Uh, kind of noticed something a bit interesting. It looks like the game will straight up show you the inherent values. If you look at the far end of the screen there, you'll notice that those different numbers there with the Pokemon pretty dang sure that's the inherent values considering the fact that my duot doesn't have much there and yet has been in a lot of battles itself so what else could it be uh i gotta get that gold star before i forget not sure if this will open up new areas Maybe, maybe not. Uh, did I report to her for that? My investigation for the commander will grind to a halt to become incapacitated with fruit. I should like to avoid that outcome. I imagine you would as well, since we mean losing the food and shelter we provide for you. If you have progress to report, I'll judge its worthiness. Show me your Pokedex. Hmm, I've made progress since you have earned yourself a star. I said a gold star, dang it! With this, you have officially attained the rank of second star in the Galaxy Expedition Team. You can now use Feather Balls! Welcome up to level 30, you also obey your, other, your orders reliably in battle. The rewards you earn for your survey reports will be more generous now, too. And these as well, for the recipes you'll need for crafting. Sky Tumblestone, huh? Super potions. Very nice. Yes. Uh, speaking of crafting and all that. And much the same way, I tend to prioritize the storage deck upgrades over the ammo capacity upgrades in Borderlands. Well, Borderlands 3. I kind of think it was that, case. It was that way in uh, Borderlands 2 and the pre sequel as well. Of course, in Borderlands 3, you do that with money. Maybe it's because of all that time I spent playing Dragon Quest 9, but I... No, not 9, 11. I feel like you should be able to just bowl over Pokemon on when you're riding around on Weird Deer or anything dashing around on him. Burmese. Yuck, yuck, yuck. I think I've got a male and a female Burmese. Cherry berries. Very nice. Can't have too many apricorns. Oops. Yeah, might as well just warp there.
kingdom for a compass. Ow. No, thank you. So I guess Stantler functions as being something of an ATV. How convenient. So you say that the galaxy people uh, came up with a method to try to quell Lord Cleaver's frenzy? What? You'll mash up Cleaver's favorite foods into balls so you can throw offerings at him? Well, that's quite an unorthodox approach. You galaxy people, your inventiveness just blows me away. I mean, now you can make offerings to Lord Cleavor from a safe distance. <laughs> I'll lend you my aid if it means we might provide Cleavor with his offering. Let's begin at once. Hold on, Leon. Don't get ahead of yourself. Whatever the plan is, you'll eat Cleavor's favorite uh, plump beans. I've brought them as promised. God, that's right. My apologies, Arita. I had forgotten all about you. I admit, as we haven't been able to solve this ourselves, we seem to have little choice but to turn to the galaxy team. But even I still have my doubts about whether we should you know, entrust such a thing to an outsider. These galaxy team people don't share our customs or our values. So prove to me you're worthy to stand in the presence of our noble Pokémon! You may battle by ordering about the Pokémon you cut in your little Pokéballs, but on my side I have a Pokémon as close to me as a sister, as one of my blood! If you can defeat Glacian enemy, I will trust you with Cleavor's fate. Will you battle us? Sure. Then allow our Glacian's two strength to chill you to your deaths. Let's see. Hey, have a day! Kinda of forgot that I had pony time my team. And thus a fire type! Let's do some strong style! Ooh. And that didn't go as planned. I see now, Pokemon are simply your tools of choice, not products of disregard for Pokemon. You still understand the Pokemon that you've caught and treat them as partners. I feel better putting my trust in you now, I think. Let me uh, see to your Pokemon's wounds. Ooh, I thank you! Now explain the Galaxy Team's plan. What do you mean to do with these foods? So because you have to keep your distance, you'll mash Cleaver's favorite foods together, ball them up, and try to quell his frenzy by... Throwing them at him? Interesting. So you've or developed soothing bombs of sorts to come all aboard. Very well, if it'll help soothe Cleaver's frenzy, let's make these bombs with our very hearts and souls. Uh, 
There, a veritable mountain of bombs. This should please Cleaver if anything can. Now then, ready yourself, and I'll summon our mighty Cleaver, Lord of the Woods. As am I. Oh, mighty Cleaver, Lord of the Woods. Though it isn't yet the time of ceremony, we've prepared an offering of your favorite things. Benevolent Lord who works his might between the heavens and earth, we offer our gratitude and beseech you, reveal yourself to our eyes. Listen well, Kasumi, keep your focus on Cleavor. Dodge will be bottled. Try to avoid his moves as you're throwing the bombs. Brute force isn't going to help with this. I'm going to have to be Cleavor about it. To claim victory against noble Pokemon and quell its frenzy, you'll have to throw bombs at it until its frenzy gauge reaches zero. If you manage to create an opening in the noble's defenses, you'll be able to send out your Pokemon to battle against it. Win the Pokemon battle and the noble's guard. Ooh. And then. Bleh. And the noble's guard will stay down for a brief time. During that window, bombs will be more effective than usual, so throw as many as you can. Oh. Well, that was a happy little accident. That's not how Stealth Rock's supposed to work. Take this chance to revive my Duat. Oh, you can't organize it. Good. Don't get greedy. Lather, rinse, repeat.
Well, that attempt to dodge didn't work, but... Whoops. Could have used Agile Style. I probably shouldn't be spamming that kind of stuff until I get a bunch of Lepa Berries. I forgot to revive the weasel. Whoopsie! Some kind of light erupted from Cleaver's body. Has Lord Cleaver's frenzied mind truly been put at ease now? Does this confirm that the strange lightning was to blame for Cleaver's unnatural power? Maybe. Well, this is what I think after all we've seen. We know a strange lightning came from out of the space-time rift the other night. Those bolts must have struck Cleaver and driven him into this into his frenzy after all. The lightning came from the space-time rift? But if Almighty Sinnoh really does dwell beyond that space-time rift, then the strange lightning indeed was Almighty Sinnoh's power? Then were we even right to try to interfere? I happily went along with this with this plan to create some bombs as if I knew what I was doing, like some kind of thoughtless fool. Outrageous. Calm yourself, Leon. Remember that the Lord of the Woods has long been our protector, keeping the Pearl Crown safe from dangerous Pokemon that might harm us. Would powers set by the true Almighty Sinnoh have driven Cleaver to turn on us and attack people and Pokemon indiscriminately? I doubt it. But Kasumi accomplished just now, it needed to be done. I'm glad we could settle this without further strife with the Diamond Clan or the Galaxy Team. If you come across other Pokemon in the grip of this painful frenzy, please help them. Hmm, yes, fine. I suppose I must concur. I apologize for becoming briefly incomposed. I'm grateful for what you've done for my lord. Please take these on behalf of the Pearl Clan. Consider it my apology for having spoken rudely to you earlier, and a token of my, of my thanks. Ooh. Let me care for your Pokemon as well. I'm in appreciation for fighting on our behalf. I think I've finally come to believe what, that you truly did fall out of the sky, though I still cannot imagine the reasons at play. It seems we've settled things here, though between you and me, I wouldn't mind seeing Lord Cleaver in such a frenzy again. He was fearfully strong after all. Don't I have some requests to be done? <clears throat> also, I think that number is just, you know, how they're ordered in the listing or whatever. I'm not even sure where the heck to find a cheer him. Hmm.
Yeah, that's what I figured. I saw the light fading into the sky. You must have quelled the Lord Pokemon. What do you have here? Could it be? Ah, those are two of the fabled plates of old. Please, let... those are two of the fabled plates of old. Please let me have a look. I see there are some letters carved into them. Let's see. This one says, "Where all creation was born, that is the being's place of origin." It seems to be a phrase from a very old myth. How did you come across these? I see, so you were given the plates when you were impressed when you impressed a weird ear in Cleavor. This is quite something indeed. My heart is practically racing with excitement. It is my guess that you will find more plates like these scattered across Hisui. If we happen to gather them all and decipher the scripts on them, we may uncover something absolutely amazing. The mysteries of the past. Oh, how they tickle my curiosity. What a joy to be alive at such times. Well, it must be on my way. Until next time. Well done. I have exp I have already ex blah, blah, blah. I've already received the reports of your exploits. You successfully quelled uh, Cleaver's frenzy, restoring peace of mind to Hisui's people. You are a stranger to us, one who fell out of the very sky, yet you have served the galaxy team admirably. I admit you have earned yourself some degree of recognition, but things are not settled yet. I've received word that there are other Pokemon nobles falling prey to such frenzies elsewhere in Hisui. So carry on with your research and survey duties, and prove that you are truly an asset to us. That is all. You are dismissed. Your fellow Survey Corps members are likely at the Wallflower. Go and join them. Any old chum, usual order, three servings of potato mochi if you <clears throat> please. Or if there's anything else that you'd recommend, by all means, bring it out. The whole village is gossiping up a storm about our young friend here, you know. He's got quite some luck to cover to have come back unharmed after facing off against that cleavor. I dare say, Kasumi as I dare say, Kasumi is well prepared, and then she was she was a quick study of how cleavor moved in battle, from what I heard. All in all, it was a very good show, very well earned. Going to work at, going to work in the field lands should feel a lot more should feel a lot safer now, thanks to you, Kasumi. If you want to feel even safer, try making some of these. Benny taught me how to make them. So I wrote out his instructions or his directions in a recipe. Lovely! Not that we need not worry about being mauled by Cleaver either. Let's take our chest study all the Pokemon that call the obsidian field lands their home. Kasumi? I've been waiting for you, Kasumi. My name's Vesa. There's something real important I need to tell you. Would you come with me? Um, this is kind of a secret, but something terrible has happened. He's in a whole lot of danger. Hundreds of years ago, a being that brought climate to this region was sealed away by someone using the power of a strange magic. But now, for some reason, the magic has come undone and the seal is broken. I had a hunch Garantino is probably the one behind the lightning and possibly the space-time rift. I hate to think what might happen at this rate, so please, Kasumi, hear me out. I need you to restore that the broken seal. Oh, thank 
I'm so happy you believe me. I just need to be willing to help. This odd keystone is for you. Keep it safe. Wait, it's Spirit Tomb? After the seal was broken, a whole bunch of wisps scattered around and across Hisui. 107 of them in total. With the odd keystone I give you, you'll be able to gather them all. Why is it 107 and not 108? See, the wisps are normally visible, but not to the hold of the odd keystone. I know it's a huge test, but please, you just have to gather all the wisps for me. There's one real close to where we are now. How about you start with that one? See that flame hovering over there? Try touching it. I have a feeling that probably not the best idea to touch it. It's across the freaking river! River, stream, whatever. The wisp has been absorbed at the odd keystone just as it should have been. Thank goodness I picked you up in the picture to help me with this. Come talk to me if you ever need help finding the remaining wisps. But that's going to have to wait till the next video because that was the buzzer just now. So as always, folks, do not stop being awesome and I'll catch you in the next video. But until then, take care.